Hi everybody, Chuck here. Coming from the lighting lab, this is not a sales video, this is a how-to. We get a lot of calls on fixture selection, and so we're just going to go over the basics on MR16 fixture selections. So, and let's just start right here. We're not even going to talk about brands, but a typical fixture would be something like this. This is what we call a cam lock because it's got, it's, and Teddy will get a close up, it's got locking tabs on it, which once the shroud is on and twisted in place, it secures the shroud. So heat won't drive it off. It, you'll not likely not lose a shroud with a fixture like this. And this happens to be a double O-ring cam lock shroud with a fixed socket. That means the socket is bolted into the base of the fixture. It's recessed down in. This particular fixture also has a convex lens. Now, the benefits, obviously the cam locking keeps the shroud on, the double O-rings keep it sealed. There are install guys that like a fixed base socket. They find it's easy to deal with because it's held in there solidly. Uh, the chances of the lamp falling out are, are not high. And they like the convex lens because it sheds water real, real well and debris, by the way. So this is a choice. Along the same lines is a trombone shroud fixture. Now let me show you how this works. It gives you a lot more adjustment. Obviously you can see, Teddy, you can do close-ups on these later, but you can, and then take that off completely. And also the positioning on it's much easier. So if the viewing angle needs a little more shrouding to the right or left, you can do that. Here's another benefit to this fixture is that it's CNC threaded with an O-ring seal, captive O-ring. That means once you screw this down, that O-ring is locked in. Thick socket, and this becomes, when you put this thing together, now it's a little more difficult because you gotta put the lamp in, then you gotta screw this on, you gotta position the shroud. And by the way, we're showing this with the stake on it. It's no different than the others. But once you put this lid on it, it becomes a sealed chamber. and of some guys really like that. It keeps the bulb for sure free of debris and moisture and, and anything else. So there's a choice. We call that the trombone style fixture. Here's a another fixture. This is nice because it's a small, it's a small form factor. It's still an MR16. By the way, MR16 stands for mirrored reflector and the 16 stands for 16 eighths of an inch. Most people don't know that. So 16 eighths is two inches. So an MR16 lamp is two inches across. An MR11 is an inch and three eighths. An MR8 is one inch across. But this is a cam lock fixture with a single O-ring. So it cam locks on. We're not gonna lose that. We're losing the O-ring right now. But guess what? This is what they call a spring-loaded socket. Now, some guys like this because it's real easy to lamp. You don't have to work your fingers down inside the housing of the fixture. So it's real easy to put a lamp on, put the spring on, put the lamp on. You clamp the whole thing down with the shroud. Now, the problems are sometimes these guys will wind the wire up when they're putting the shroud on. The beauty part is it puts the lamp all the way right out to the glass lens, and by this is another convex glass lens fixture. So if you are, if you want a spring-loaded, if you want a convex lens, then, and you prefer a cam lock fixture, obviously this is gonna be the one you choose. One of my favorites is a floating shroud. Double O-ring, it's got the double silicone O-rings, it's got a, a heat shield which drives the heat and reflects any light back out the front of the fixture. Now this has got a flat lens. Some guys prefer a flat lens because they say it's less light distortion. I can tell you if you're lighting plant material, shrubberies, trees, you won't be able to tell the difference, flat or convex. But on buildings, structures, um, art, um, sculptures, fountains, there may be a difference between a convex and a flat lens. Um, all these fixtures have real good tight seals, good knuckles. Um, these are all brass fixtures and we'll show you 
a couple of aluminum choices. We haven't talked about this yet. This is a sand cast bronze fixture. Very good fixture. This is probably the heaviest fixture on the table. It's probably the toughest fixture on the table. Um, it's not a pretty fixture, but if you're in a beach environment where you've got blowing sand, it's an excellent choice because the looks of it will hold up even in a sand abrasion condition. This is a floating socket fixture with the heat shield in place. Real easy to lamp this fixture, holds the, the lamp up against the lens, got a convex lens, and very good sand abrasion characteristics. It's a good, a good choice if you're at the beach. Very similar to that, uh, and I like this fixture a lot. It's a floating socket, you can see that's so a spring loaded, but it's real easy to lamp. And this is a copper um, fixture. Let me get it all together here for you. <clears throat> so again, the spring holds the lamp all the way up against the lens. I like this because it's a double O-ring and we can turn the shroud in any direction we want. Again, a flat lens and plenty of relief for water runoff. So this is a great choice for harsh environment. Now Bill brought up um, a reclaimed water. Reclaimed water has a lot of chemical and it's treated to purify it. Very hard on any type of fixture. Aluminum's impossible on reclaimed water conditions. Brass holds up pretty well. The sand cast bronze will hold up very well. And I would have to say this copper and brass version will hold up the best on reclaimed water sprinkles. So in conclusion, guys, the first order of business to determine which fixture we're gonna use is the budget. What's your allocation per fixture? So some are more expensive, some are less expensive, so that's the first determining choice. Then it's gonna be the environment. If we're out on the beach, we need copper and brass or sand cast bronze. If we're in a high corrosive condition, same thing applies. If we're lighting sculptures and uh, structure, we're gonna want a probably a flat lens fixture to minimize distortion. If we're out in a garden under trees, we're probably gonna want a convex lens to shed debris, leaves, chaff, etc. It's an extra level of security on our shrouds and lenses. Uh, if we're not concerned with that, but we're more concerned with pivoting our shroud to get extra glare control or shielding, then we're gonna want a, a non-cam lock version, a press-on version like we discussed. And lastly, if we're really worried about glare and we want a lot of glare control, then we're gonna want a trombone shroud valve top where we can really choke down that glare. So there's your choices. Ultimately, you guys are in charge of what you choose. We have them all. Thanks.